Hello friends, this is Wendy and I am working on my next page. Um, I just kind of want to get started with Radiator Springs, um, which is the next area. And I also want to kind of just go through a quickie of where we are. This actually is the second of the um, signatures that's going to go in this book. And the first few are just carols. And then... This is that triple layer cake. And then the ornament, so Christmas tree, that's perfect, right? And then it goes here. And this, this was where we were standing when we watched this little quickie parade. And the more I look at this, the more I like it. So I'm, I'm happier with that. So we just barely did that, and now we're gonna move on to Radiator Spring. Um, I may actually jump into another journal after I kind of start this one because I want to show a particular technique. I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do. This page had a lot of water on it. I'm almost, well, I don't know. I haven't decided. This is the center. But the first thing I'm going to do is fussy cut this out. Okay, so I decided I didn't want this to be white, but I didn't want to really, I didn't want to use water. An interesting thing happened as I put the back on it, this straightened out, because I was wondering if that would straighten out, so that's kind of cool. But what I really wanted to do, well, I wanted to do that, obviously. I think I'm going to stick the date somewhere. I have, that I haven't decided I might do a little bit of a Christmassy little thing right in the corner there. Again, not decided. Okay, so I'm gonna audition these two papers. I mean, that looks really nice next to that. And that also looks nice next to that. Since this is Cars Land, I'm gonna stick them kinda like this. I wanna put some of the photos that I will be putting out on top of these. Kinda see which one it would look better on. So I think that one looks better on this one. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. That one there or here? Oh. See, I would have said here. Wow. I'm going to say there. I think it gets washed out on that. I think, I think that one. Well, I think I'll start with with this one, and then if I need to do a second big fold-out, then I will. Okay, for this one, I'm going to use this punch. It's by EK Success. I really like this punch. I've used it for years and years and years, and one of the things I like best about it is that it doesn't take that little quarter of an inch or whatever it is that the other ones take off. I go there and then here. Okay. Just to give it a little bit of interest because I'm going to come over here. Now, wow. <laughs> it gets covered. So I'm going to, um, I'm going to clean this up real quick and pull out my, um, scoring board. So there are positives and negatives that I'm finding out to uh, making junk journals. Um, I think I want to do it this way. But to making them, whether you already have them in 
your uh, book. So you stitch it all in first, and then you um, write in it, art in it, journal in it, um, paper craft in it, uh, put uh, photos in it, whatever. So there is some positives to having it already stitched in. And I think one of the things that is a positive is that when it's already stitched in, you don't get this. However, it's going to get covered. Um, when you do stitch it in, you are limited more on... i got to figure out which way I want to fold this. I guess I'll fold it. And this, if this is not what I want, then I will turn it over and fold it again. But, uh, yeah, if it, if you do, let's see, so then that will go, this will go back. And this will not be across from that. Okay, so I want to do it the other way. But, um, if... If you have it out of a, uh, if it's not already stitched in, there you go. Gosh, I can't, I really can't do two things at once. It's just crazy. But um, yeah, if you if you don't stitch it in to start out with, oh, I think I want it to go like that. Then, yeah, that's what I want to do. Then you have a little more freedom and mobility and, and all of that. So I like this. I'm going to do that. So what I'm going to do is glue this on here. Now, and I'm just gluing it down. I would have made it a bigger, whatever. I would have made it an inch and a half to two inches if I was not going to glue it down, if I was going to make it into a pocket. But I find, I don't know. I don't know that I like pockets. <laughs> um, I'm going to make some pockets when I make the baby book because I, I want to tuck some little journal journaling books in. I've been thinking about that too. I've been thinking about uh, what kind of paper to put in it. I think I'm going to do a little mi mix match thing. I watched something that Louisa was showing, a, a, a junk journal that she had made, and the paper was, though they all went together, they were all, well, they weren't all different, but she used a, a variety of different papers, and I liked that a lot. So I thought, ah, I, I, and I have a variety of different papers. So I even have some tea dyed papers. So yeah. So then this I'm going to go out so you can tell. We'll go out like this. And then you can open it up. And then there. So this is one way to add to a book. Um, to a book that's already been stitched in or, or not. To give it some interest. To be able to stick a lot of um, your, like I do photos. I do a lot of photos. One thing that I could do, so here is a could. If I wanted to write something, I could write my little thing, stitch it here. And so here is now my little book. Okay, so get my photos back out. Well, I wasn't thinking about this real well, but I wanted to put this picture on the very front. But it does not fit. So I'm going to put it here. And it does fit there. And I think, kind of want to, I don't know if I want to have a flip up or just have it sitting there. Maybe I'll do another one of these above it. Oh, he might be fun on the front. Let's see. So on the front, I was then thinking of him. 
or me with my knee brace. Oh my gosh, I got to tell you, that knee brace saved me. It was the smartest thing I ever did. I really like this one too, but I kind of feel like it gets lost. Although it's a good color, maybe I should put white around it or off-white around it. He doesn't get lost on there, so that might be a good one. Though I did kind of want to put him next to his little sign. Oh, I almost, I almost prefer him here. Yeah, I think I prefer him here. I will cut him down a little. Okay, I decided to do something easy first, and I'm really unhappy. This is my absolute last roll of this. Thank goodness. I'm almost ready to just throw the whole thing away now. Um, the last one, the last, last roll actually did pretty well. And I was like, well, maybe, maybe I'll give it another chance and buy some more. And then this one went and just piddled all over the place. And I'm like, nope, 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 nope. There's snips. So I'll just do this. And I can get a ton of this tape for the price of getting three little refills for that. It's it's just amazing how much more tape I can get than, than that. So, so yeah, anyway, I decided I would just do easy because I, I can't decide. I'm I'm a little disappointed that I can't put that one picture on the end there, but I do like it on the other side. Um, so, so I will put these down. Okay, so I've also put a page protector on here, which I don't know whether I'm going to need one on here, but whatever is here will not, you know, connect off of that. I haven't decided which one of these I'm going to put on here. So I'm going to put this book away for right now. Um, I will put these pictures, uh, I think I'm going to put them in an envelope. So I put my photos in the envelope and I am... I'm going to put these away. I do have a Ziploc bag that I keep them in, so I'm going to go put them in there just to keep it safe until the next time I want to play with this book. Okay, so now I'm going to pull out this bag. And I am working on organizing my craft room. I have a lot of... Oh, let's see if I can bring this up so you can see. Um, yes, over here... Let's see, can you see my finger? No. Here, over here, I have paper, and it, that's a very large paper thing. And I want to at least start cleaning out some of that paper, putting it in these, um, there we go, these drawers over here. I also have drawers under my desk. And um, I want to start putting these big bags in the slots instead of the paper because uh, this is how I'm scrapping now. This is how I am uh, working on creating. So I thought I would do, all right, is this right side up? Is this, yes. I thought I would do this again. So I'm gonna show you how I am gonna put this I'm gonna glue this down on three sides. I gotta ink it first though, don't I? So yeah, must get, get to inking. Before I ink, I need to get kind of an idea of what I'm gonna do. And I'm pulling out Corby, I will push this out. Yes, I'm in my pajamas. Yes, yes, sorry. Anyway, let's go like that. All right, that's so much better, right? No, okay. Sorry about this ring, I don't know how to, I do not know how to adjust it so it doesn't do that. 
But um, where what book? Where was it that I want to go? This. I want to make this. Okay. So I'm just going to use this as the size, and I'll put it back. So I want to put this in here. I almost wish. It's not this book. Obviously, I'm not putting this exact book in here. I want to make a book like this, though. And what did I do on Corby for the decoration behind the book? No? Here. Oh, okay. So it was just whatever it was. So. All right. So do I want to put a piece of paper behind here that's pretty since this is old? I probably do, don't I? Okay. So before I glue this down, I need to, oh, see, and I need to make sure. If you remember from my Hedwig book, I wasn't careful and I did it crooked like this. Yes, I can bring it back up. Did it crooked like this and uh, yeah, that was, whew. <laughs> but we make mistakes and we learn from them and I won't do that again, so. All right, so step one is to put something kind of pretty here, but I don't think I wanna do cardstock. I wanna do something thinner than that. Okay, so here is one of the advantages, and I do this for myself. I, If you listen to me, then yay, but I do this for me because I really am trying to decide, and I, I think the answer is sometimes it's better to stitch all the pages in, and sometimes it's not. Um, but one of the advantages, I'm going to turn this this way, of it not being stitched in yet is that I have the ability to work with just one page at a time and not have to mess around with a whole book. Um, I cut my paper. Oh, now I gotta find it. Oh, there it is. So it's going to go here, but it it has a little bit of gap around it, which is fine because I'm going to ink around it. I'm going to ink around the page. I'm going to ink around this. I'm going to try it. This is dried marigold. It's oxide. I just barely got this in the mail. And I don't know that I've tried it much. And I'm hoping it's definitely a little yellower than I was expecting. I'm hoping it will be complementary to this. Where's the other piece of paper? So I'm hoping it'll be complimentary, which I think it is, to this and to this. Then I put this. This is what I was going to use for the book. And look how it does not. I mean, it's like, it's like dead, which is fine. I mean, I'll find another piece of paper to make the book out of. Let's see if this, I was thinking this would go with all of the, wow, don't like that either. Hmm. Maybe a manila folder. Yeah. I'll have to do that. That's fine. That'll work. Okie dokie. Anyway, so I am going to ink around here. And then, so I'll ink around here, and I'll ink around here, and I'll ink around all of this, and I'll be back. first one I punched with my border punch that I've had for forever and I will be covering this with photos or you know I, I can add paper to the back or whatever because this is what happens when the book is not stitched in and the paper has more opportunity to get dirty 
Although I have a feeling that it still has the opportunity to get dirty when it's stitched in. Anyway, so this one is, and then it goes out. All right. Now we did the same fold on this one. Hopefully it's all nice and dry. Yes. This time, unlike what I did with my Hedwig book, I made sure that it was nice and tight there. Now this one I made a pocket and we're gonna make a book probably tomorrow to go in there. Uh, one thing that I did do that I did different, and this is because it's a gift for someone else. I use the um, Distress Glaze and this is supposed to stop ink movement. Cause like the ink is gonna move forever. It, it, It'll wear off of stuff. It'll, you know, it'll come off onto things. If you spritz it with water, it will still move because unlike the paint, it'll still move. I do need to clean that off there. But because this is going to a friend, I felt like I needed to glaze the edges. But just like the other one, this is gonna be the second page of a book. But this will go out. And because of this that I just noticed, that has to do with the glue, I am gonna put washi tape right there. So I'll do that right now. Okay, so I brought out some choices. This is solid. I also think it might be a little, I don't know. I was thinking these might be a little stickier, a little tackier, but I don't think so. I also have to find where it starts. There it is. See if I like this color on here. So that will be pretty. So that definitely will work. Then I have this one. It's the same width. I was thinking this might be fun. That will work also. And then there's this one. Let's see. That one I don't like. Okay, I, I think I'm just gonna go with the pink. I think, I mean, how can I go wrong, right? I wanna make sure it's gonna stay, and so I'm going to put, uh, I'm gonna get these guys out of the way, but I'm gonna put my um, score tape down. Okay, so let's go back so it opens and then there's room for a photo vertical vertical horizontal vertical yeah a vertical photo and then of course there's pictures or she's going to take a lot of pictures this is a baby book right and then there's room for photos here and then you turn the page and there will be and we will make that next time or in a couple of times we'll make a book to go in there and it'll be made out of this color so i think that'll look really pretty in there like that and so now we have done this fold twice once as a pocket and once as just um side decoration for another photo right okie dokie well I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Hit that notification bell. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you tomorrow. I really will. I promise. Bye.